watch the days roll by. Party people, welcome to Pretty Green. Yeah. You're familiar with Nick's work. It was obviously first came to our attention with Jet, that sold six and a half million albums, I believe, around that. Uh, but what he's done since then with his solo music to me, he's just elevated it to a different level. This is Nick's band, Milano Electrica. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's have it for Nick Sesta, yeah? Fucking voice, yeah? yeah. <laughs> what a fucking voice. That's absolute soul, man. That is soul. Thanks. And uh, what a brilliant band as well. Yeah, they're good, huh? You're living in Milan now, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I've Italy. been living there for three years, I guess. Yeah. That's three years. So why, why Milan? My grandparents are Italian. Italian yeah. Scottish. Right. Uh, my father died when he was quite young, like early 50s. And uh, I don't know, it affected me in a way that I wanted to, I wanted to know more about. That's part of my history, you know. Yeah. I mean, Australia is a mix of people from everywhere in the world, and it's I, a beautiful place, I never felt right. Australian. I never really felt Italian. I never felt Scottish. But I wanted to. I wanted to know more, so I moved. So a voyage of discovery. Listen, that music, you know, when I was listening to the album, very euphoric, and it sounds like yeah. the music of a very happy man to me, that. It was, like, it was a long time ago now, and I was, I was, I mean, when Jet happened, I was 18, 19 years old, so I was fucking young. By the time we split up, I, I it ended really badly, and I, I was fucking unhappy, you know? Yeah. And then it took me a long time. I didn't play guitar, I didn't do anything for maybe eight years, and then when I finally started writing these songs, yeah. it was a really happy, happy thing, and you, you feel it, I think. Well, I feel the days getting longer I never felt so far away But you know it's been hard to find Somewhere the we could build on, yeah Tell us about some of these, you've, you've toured and played with some massive names You've worked with Oasis, you recorded with Iggy Pop. How did that come about? Yeah, we did, yeah. Uh, I don't know whose idea it was, but well, to be honest, I guess we all got pretty fucking sick and tired of people saying, oh, Lust for Life. So like, well, they, let's, let's do something with him and shut everyone up, you know. Was he good so, to work with? He was, yeah. He's a beautiful man, isn't he? He is, he's a lovely guy. Tell us about the, not the band you with tonight, but the Jaded Hearts Club band. Yeah. Tell us what that's all about. I mean, most of those guys live in LA. My brother, Chris, the drummer in Jet. I mean, they just have, like, they'd all get a bit loose in my brother's garage and start jamming Beatles songs. I don't know, it just started out, it was, the cool thing about it is, there's no, it's egoless. None of these guys have to do it. They're just doing it for the pure fun of it. And it's, it's fun to do for that reason. But and it's quite a fluid lineup, in it? You it have... changes, yeah, because like, Sean from the Zootons lives in LA. My brother's there. Bellamy's there. Miles is everywhere. Miles know. Kane? Yeah. What about Paul McCartney? Did he do a bit? Yeah, he jumped up. And were you on the, in the gig that night? I wasn't there, no, 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 oh, I wasn't there. I've only done, I only did it, I don't, I've done two. I'm the new guy. Right, okay. Should I stay with the devil? He abounds all the truths. He don't leave me
Nick, it's been an absolute pleasure no, not thanks. only meeting you but listening to you in the same room like that it was just incredible. Uh, let's have it. Uh, thanks again to Pretty Green for doing this. We'll do it again in four weeks. Thank you to Nick Zester, yeah? Thank you. <laughs>